Again, OBS opens with enough time to record X split opening, both starting at the same time. This is my second attempt at working out problems with XSplit. I'm using OBS to record. First, I opened OBS and looked for the settings that were suggested by the wizard that OBS provided. I mentioned it in my previous uh, tutorial too, if you guys need to check that out. I was going to use them for adjusting the settings on XSplit. Particularly focusing on audio and video bitrate settings, which are setting options with OBS. Then I was going to focus on FPS and resolution, adjusting my exploit to the suggestions given with OBS. XSplit was still loading while I was able to start OBS and look up all the settings I need. I'm going to speed this up. I already started doing uh, my XSplit thing too to find out if it's working better. So that's going to be in my audio videos with Audacity and trying to put background music in, which is coming out. So you guys know. Now I begin to look for the bitrate settings and exploit while I finally, while it finally started. It did take a long time. I just had to speed this up so you guys don't realize how long it was, but it was a while. I'm going to speed it up here. It takes forever for settings to load on XSplit. I turned delay off until I learned more about it. I think that it might actually be one of my problems. I don't know for sure. Just wanted to be safe rather than sorry. And I want to give XSplit the benefit of the doubt too. Because like I said, if I can't straighten these problems out, I'm not going to use it. On microphone mono right, right I said, said it uh, for copy left to right. I don't know why it is a good setting. It was just suggested. I'm doing what is suggested until I learn different. Um, that's what XSplit suggested, so that's what I put the settings as. I'm 
there isn't any settings for XSplit for either audio or video that can that control bit rates. Oh, and in this video, I'm going to use the background music and the audio. I also turned Arrow off on both XSplit and OBS. My computer isn't strong enough to handle it. So, tell me what you think about my background and my audio for my voice. And I changed the options on the top right side from 1280 by 760, 720p. 16.9 to 640, 360p, 16.9. After not finding bit rates in settings, I moved on to changing resolution to match what was suggested on OBS. I'm going to speed this up. Yeah, I uh, set the uh, let or I left the silent detection on my X split settings, but I'm wondering if that is what caused the gaps in audio when I edit my videos. You know, please comment, let me know, because when I do edit, I have gaps in my words where I know I didn't have gaps and just stop and then start it up. XSplit also suggested that I disable developer mode too. I turned it on for a while but turned it back off yesterday. That could have affected my video and audio too maybe. Eventually, I even checked on YouTube live to see if I had settings, if I had settings for audio and video bit right. Nothing was there either, so that is probably only an option for OBS. I'm going to speed all of this up. This is actually like maybe two, three hours worth of video footage that I condense. YouTube keeps suggesting that I look in my ingestion settings, but this is what happens. I did my tutorial on YouTube yesterday, or my review on YouTube yesterday, so if you guys want to check that out, you'll see how I feel about YouTube. So. I actually did a 25 minute video on YouTube Live for my channel. That's how much I felt about YouTube and wanting to make the video and not leave anything out. Change my resolution on screen capture here from its original setting of 640 by 360 and use the X and Y options to figure out where each part of the screen is that is captured. Starting with 640 by 360, X 320, Y 180, and then going down to 640 by 360, X 100, and Y 100. To 
to do that, you have to go into your scene options by the screen capture and change resolution and location there. Just click screen caption to highlight it and then settings at the bottom. I then uh, change the location settings from X100, Y100 up to X200, Y200, X300, Y300 until I had to change the resolution to the highest setting at X350 to, or higher setting to X350, Y350. Things got a bit confusing there. That's when I had to stop. I also went into the settings and made it to where the mouse uh, couldn't be seen. It prevents mouse flicker. While doing that, I also figured out how to line up the capture on the screen by adjusting the lines here until I couldn't see them. That's using both OBS and XSplit, by the way. I don't even know if uh, that would be helpful or useful. Even if it isn't useful, I can still use the footage. I figured I could use it for special effects and different parts of videos that I want to use it in. I'm going to use it, use it for graphics and special effects, things like that. It's pretty cool some of the things I did do on there with it. Especially with it fast like that. So even if it's not helpful, I got some good graphics from it. Hello, testing, one, two, three, testing. I'm gonna see if this works pretty good now. If it, it's all choppy, I did some work with the X video or X splitter, and I um, messed around with the resolution and everything, see what I could come up with. hope this works so if not I'm getting rid of like I said before